Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and enjoy me looking at a very purple world here in Computer Tycoon. Hi! Yes! And we're very happy about this purpleness because purple is my company colour. Which basically means I am simply the bestest at selling computers in this game so far in the year of 1983. If we look at our little charts here, there I am. A mere 56.56. .56. I love, I love numbers that sort of have sequences. Don't you like that too? Sequences. Yes, they're, they're always nice to see. Anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. Get into the game, man. Uh, yeah, Cheap and Great uh, over the last year did try, did try to steal my crown. And very, very briefly took it away from me. But as you can see, I've knocked them back to their proper place. Yes, second place, wherever it is, somewhere below me. Uh, poor old Biggs, who are doing very well, has disappeared now again. And IBN, if we look at their strategy, and we saw this in the last episode, yeah, they've gone down the really cheap route. For some reason, cheap and great aren't that cheap. They, they are undercutting me, but their sales, just they're just nowhere near mine. I mean, their computer is a four months, at least four months older than mine, and I've outsold it by over half a million. Well, okay, slightly less than half a million. But anyway, you get the picture. Yeah, so we're doing really, really well. And why have I got the game on pause? Yes, I know I normally play I normally play games in pause. It's an odd habit that I have. But we are literally one day away from my research teams unleashing upon the world, well, upon my manufacturing facility anyway, the co-processor. Yep, here in the top left, a very green looking bar if we go into the research screen here, uh, into the queue. We're at 487 and we're going to get, we need to get a 493 and we currently have 18 research points. I think that adds up to less than a day's worth of research to do. Uh, I have changed the, the, the list here slightly. Uh, we're still, nobody else appears to have picked up on the XT power standard, which we need, I think, to get into PCs, proper personal computers. We're still in the era of home computers. Uh, so that's still a long way away. That'll take a while to, to research. Now I have actually just, well actually we'll talk about that in a second. So what I've done is I've put in a couple of very quick research hits here, which will give me bonuses. Axis modification, which is a nice piece of software down here somewhere. Here we are, access modernization. That gives me five features and again about five ease of use points that is really good the trackball uh, which was an accessory down there it is gives me a whopping 20 features and 10 ease of use so that would be good yes because that's an area where i occasionally slip behind so it'd be nice to have those two in the bag as well now just as we're about to hit getting co-processors the research we did uh, since the last episode, well, during the last episode, which I've not implemented yet, is the hard disk drive, MIDI, a new sound technology for all those sound files. That's not really a word, is it? No, sorry. And also the one micron. Now, that, that will be great because it cuts our manufacturing costs down. But if I look, if I remember, was it cheap and great? Yeah, they've already gone one step further, one step beyond. Yes, another song that suddenly crept into my mind. <laughs> yeah, at 80 nanomicrons. So we're a little bit away from that. Uh, in fact, how much would 80 nanomicrons cost us to research? It's up here somewhere, manufacturing. Well, that's still quite expensive, 1300. Well, we, do, we probably don't need it just yet because we are, as we can see, winning at this game. Anyway, what I have done is I have added, let's get the game underway, there you go. I have, you have researched a new technology. I know, thank you. <laughs> that is coprocessors. Right, before we get on to implementing that, I have put in a couple of building requests. I had planned to do this at the end of the last episode, but almost forgot. We're increasing our capacity in South Africa to a level four factory. And also because it's a filthy rich country and it's slightly cheaper to do it, 
I'm increasing our research in the UAE, United Arab Emirates, up to level three, which will give us uh, another two research points, I think it is. Yeah, so that will sit up there at the top with Q8. Strangely enough, that is the is, is that Arabian Peninsula, which appears to be a uh, a, a place of considerable wealth, That's where I put most of my research facilities. Anyway, we need to get this hardware constructed. So let's get my components in the right order. Now we're going to go with the hard disk drive. So that is a storage technology. That's one we've got. So we'll remove that one from our portfolio. So the ATA05 will take you. This should be a whole exciting new level of technology here. And that gives us not Winchester technology, but hard disk drive technology. Yay! Which means my capacity. Oh, let's, we can go up a lot here, but this is going to cost me. And actually, this is quite cheap to produce by the look of it. Uh, 548. That is quite cheap to produce, isn't it? Okay, we're going a whole 5 megabytes. Oh, I remember the first time I saw a 5 megabyte hard disk drive. It was huge. It was. It was a, it was a real tray size thing. <laughs> anyway, let's create that. And... Uh, Yep, so we got that. That is excellent. We also have MIDI, which is a motherboard technology. Again, we'll get rid of you. And we will take you and copy you. It's already our 14th motherboard. Amazing. Right, so we're going to add MIDI to this. Boom. And also take it down to one micron production. So our cost of production there is, well, it's the same, more or less, slightly more expensive. But that's all right, because we have got a load more features and our, oh, our quality points are much better as well. So that's definitely good. That's our new motherboard and our CPU. What have we got here? Yeah, we'll copy our pre-existing one. Uh, so coprocessors, what can we do on here? If I take that out, that's performance is 756. Add in is not all oh, that is good. So again, the cost of this, it's gone up substantially, but if I put in the one micron, the cost has gone down. Uh, I need to put the multiplier up. That was eight, wasn't it? Now, it's still that much more expensive, but what we can do is increase this multiplier to 10. So the CPU is going to be that much more expensive to produce. But hey, we're getting a lot more out of it in terms of performance. A lot more. So the memory is the next thing we can do. We can add our one micron technology to. Yeah, just take that down from there to there. Oh, we can put a multiplier in here. Yeah, let's check the cost. Oh, it's like much more expensive at 1.5. Uh, we could go to there. Again, a nice performance boost. Uh, the quality and ease of use. That's all much the same. And finally, the video card. We will add the 1 micron to. Now we could... There's no heat on this. There's no point in rifle bearings, although that would give us a, a quality boost. We, we don't need that, I think. So we'll take you out, put you in, and again, the multipliers can go up. We can, <laughs> we can increase the memory on that as well. So the multiplier, if we keep it to around about the same cost, but we're getting that much more performance out of it, that's excellent. Okay, so we now have a whole new range of components. Let's see what happens if we build a new computer. This is actually going to be our second computer in 1983. There we go. And our memory, I'll keep that up there so we can kind of compare. Actually, if I take, no, we'll take that out. Uh, I want to, I'll take out all the competitors so I can just compare it with my previous model. Actually, if I leave cheap in there, 
yeah we can do that we can do that yeah so I can see my two at the top here so the uh, the new model will have a better memory it will have a much better CPU uh, the removable media stays the same the GPU card is improved power supply hasn't but the storage has and the motherboard certainly has uh, why am I looking at the archived ones there don't do that <laughs> just the current ones there we go so if I save that there now what have we got big boost in performance storage capacity is huge now oh yeah prestige we're a little bit low on I think that's because the other guys have got the other accessories ease of use a little bit low on that but quality is good so comparing that to cheap and great uh sorry to ibm oh yeah we're, we're we're well ahead on that one okay so what we need to do is we will go into testing this one Actually, should we check the marketing on here that's okay again we'll just do a big oh these change depending on how big the marketing campaign is oh, interesting okay uh should we go we'll go medium i think we're okay with that uh casuals we got everything there that's okay we'll stay with medium okay so the release of this we just need to put it into testing your new computer model went into the testing phase and just let the game roll on and uh, watch my color take over more of the world well, I'm only earning 1.1 million a day. Oh, what trifling sums these are. Actually, I'm just looking at this. I actually have eight logistics points free. There's a couple of places here in South America where I'm not the top dog. So can I go in? Guyana. Yeah, we'll give you one. Logistics points, that is. Uh, likewise, Suriname. Paraguay. Am I not in Paraguay? I am now and finally uh, Uruguay we'll put a point in there and they've they've all switched your building upgrade has completed <laughs> so we have your building upgrade has completed yep, the new factory and the new research so we've got the access modernization already and we're doing very nicely indeed Ooh. okay we're not making so much money now that's a bit of a shame. That's all right. We're not panicking. This kind of happens. Has anybody released a new computer yet? Uh, oh, Dator Systems. No, no, no. That's not brand new. No, no. Uh, IBM. No, that's not new. Yeah, so nobody else has released another new computer as yet. That's interesting. But uh, no, the prices seem pretty much like they were, unless they've been changing their discount rates. I don't know if they do that. I know their baseline prices will change, but I'm not sure if they change their discount rates. I haven't been following that, to be honest. So, yeah, uh, we'll take all these minor players out of the mix. Because I think your new computer model is polished. Right, we're ready to go. We are ready to go. Just want to check this. Yeah, nothing's much changed there in the last uh, month or so. So let's have a look at our new computer. And it's in prototype now. And what's it looking like? Yeah, yeah. Oh, our, e yeah, our feature set, our prestige is... It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Uh, ease of use. Again, cheap and great appear to have got that somehow. I think that's the yeah, that's the trackball and stuff, isn't it? And quality. Oh yeah, we've got that. Yeah, so our testing process really added to our quality figures there. That is excellent. So uh, I think we're okay with our marketing. Uh, get our factories all into play. Oh, I've I just a, a mention on this uh, in the Discord server recently. I don't know if it was. Um, mentioned anywhere else but uh, Andrish the developer of the of this wonderful game did make a comment that in the next update at some point soonish uh, you won't need to do all this manual fiddling 
with your factory or your output levels. He's going to have a new and friendlier system for handling this, which should be nice. Should be very nice. I hope it's as it can be as kind of modular that you can tinker with it to be precise if you need to. So I, I think the idea is he's going to be making it slightly more automated, perhaps. But I hope we still have the ability to control it if we feel like it. Because that, that's the thing with these sort of games. You need that ability to, to control it how you want to. You can hand over control to the, the AI or a manager that you employ in the game. Or you can do it yourself. You know, micro or macro manage as suits your preference. Okay, so all our factories are ready to go. So let's release our new computer. Release market. You have researched a new technology. And wow, 53, 40. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh, I didn't change the price upwards. Never mind. That's okay. <laughs> okay, our old model isn't selling, so we'll just uh, archive that one. So, how does our new one look in terms of reviews? Oh, Comp Deals, the Cheapskates magazine likes it slightly better than, than they did the previous model and we're doing very well uh, demand is slightly outstripping what we can produce at the moment and that's okay so i'm nearly making two million dollars a day we are 58 percent of the market this is looking so wonderful we've got access mod oh oh we're moving on to the xt power standard oh heck right i I've quite forgotten that we're researching things so quickly now. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? You don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Yes, I know that. I suppose I could build another factory or upgrade an existing one. Uh, okay, so the gamepad, we might add that in. Perhaps we ought to go to ooh, the LCD display. That will be in data projection. I'd rather go to EGA. That's slightly more expensive because the LCD. Oh, ah, OK. So the LCD can be used for home computers, but it is a key technology for portables. Ah, that's OK. Right, so it might well be worth doing that. I mean, obviously, the EGA is a much bigger technology in terms of the bonuses you get by the look of it but EGA could be good okay we'll add e uh, so it will add the, uh, the B&W <laughs> the black and white LCD to our queue as well uh, we might as well move that up there the nickel cadmium batteries we don't need those in, until we get to the portables basically uh, the gamepad we might as well add that in at some point uh, we'll stick that up up there perhaps Okay, which means it's going to be a little while before we uh, we get our next computer designed. Okay, so can we? Uh, we could increase Morocco's factory capacity. Okay, we'll upgrade the office there and also the recreation center, and then I can upgrade the the factory. What about the research labs? I don't think I've got many sites in, in rich countries. That's the thing. No. We could open another site. Oh, I'm earning over 2 million a day. <laughs> I've got nearly 60% of the sales across the globe. Uh, we could, have we got another site we can go to, which is Filthy Rich? Let's have a look at this. Uh, yeah, just just filthy rich ones will do. Uh, oh, there you go. And your building upgrade has completed. Open. Okay, so your we've... building upgrade has completed. Right, so the Moroccan facilities are ready to go. So we can let's sort this again by factory order. Click it. There you go. Let's bring Morocco. There you go. That will probably arrive by the time our demand has peaked and started coming down, but it'll be ready for when we move on to our next computer. Uh, what was I looking at? Oh, markets, uh, sites rather. Uh, I want, uh, 
unused. Why is this not showing me any? Okay, all or none. Okay. Filthy rich. Oh, because I've got a market. Oh, that that are only these few filthy rich countries. Ah, okay. So presumably then the UK and the US are just rich. Ah, okay. Interesting. Uh, so we could go to Switzerland. We could go to Switzerland. Yeah, why not? It's in the centre of... Or we could go to... Ireland is filthy rich. Seems a little suspicious to me, to be honest. But they did... I, this is a little bit early, 1983. Or maybe it's not. I can't remember the economics of, of the Irish... The, the, the Irish economy. They did have this tiger... Uh, economy thing where the government effectively slashed and burnt the tax rate for incoming uh, companies which put a lot of particularly technic high-tech companies into Ireland but yeah the, the public purse did suffer uh, at the end of that as the as the tech bubble burst as it were so if we build a site here only gonna cost me 18 million <laughs> only 18 million Right, so what are we going to build here? We are going to build uh, a research lab. I'll build an office as well. And we'll build a logistics office and also marketing. There you go. Well, let's get the game running. Why well, have got it on pause, you silly man? Right, and they should all start coming up. That's it. They're all coming up. That give me a few more research points to play with. We're at 60. Oh, hat, what, what's cheaper? What? Oh, maybe because I don't have the capacity to build all this stuff. Oh, is Morocco not? Is the Morocco factory not built yet? Oh, it probably isn't. Your building upgrade has completed. Right. Okay, I should be able to market share. I've got a tiny segment of that. What's going on here? I don't like. Don't Your like that at all. Okay, I'm completed. getting it back. I think that was probably because I was running out of capacity. That's better. That's much better. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, so everything is built in Ireland. That is good. Uh, we could build. Uh, let's get the research thing in here. Uh, Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Where are you? You don't have enough manufacturing yes, capacity. Yes, I know that. Oh, this is incredible! To over two million a day, uh, I've got a, oh, I've got a level one <laughs> research lab in every country. That's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't I didn't do the upgrade on the office. I should have done that. That's fine. Okay, we're, we're ready to go now. Oh, I put a factory in Ireland. You are oh, you great plonker? Yeah. Okay. Um, Where's well, extra capacity? That that's fine. Uh, I could increase it. Oh, let's do it. It won't hurt. It won't hurt. Okay, demand has tailed off. People aren't buying my computers so much. Uh, why is that? Is anybody else who's brought a new computer out? Has anybody brought a new computer out? No, no. Um, cheap and great. Ah, yes, they they did bring a new one out, but there's this. Bigs have... Oh, where's mine? Oh, there it is. No, they, everyone else has bought out new computers. Okay. So, who am I actually competing with here at the moment? Okay, it's mostly cheap and great. So, if we look at this. So, cheap and great. Uh, performance, they don't compare. Capacity, oh, that's trivial. Feature set, no. I, I, I don't know why... Oh, the prestige is good. Ease of use. Yeah, they've kind of got that. And the quality. What have they got? Well, their noise is... They're very noisy, aren't they? You see, they've got more accessories. They've got the trackpad. And the game ball, the CPU. 8088. Am I... Am I on... What, what CPU have I got now? I've, I've completely... <laughs> Uh, there we go, in design, CPU. Oh, I'm... Ah, when can we get to the 286? I want to get to the 286. Uh, where's the uh, computing, is it? Where's the CPU? Oh, there it is. I could do that. 
yeah, I want to add the CPU. I want to add the 286. That would be cool. So where does that fit into here? Do I want the display before I get the CPU? No, we'll put the we'll put the CPU up there, I think. We'll see what that does. We're still a long way away though from completing the XT power supply. That's all right. Uh, we're getting there. Uh, so what were we looking at? We were looking at sales, weren't we, of computers? Because someone is, is uh, people aren't buying my. Uh, I know what I can do. Of course, it's the same old trick. It's not a trick. Uh, let's go big marketing. Will that help? Will that bring demand back a bit? Huge marketing, please. Well, that's, that's added some more demand. That's good. What about uh, crazy marketing? Oh yeah, that's brought quite a bit of demand back. But Your I'm building upgrade has completed. Still overproducing somewhat. So we'll need to cut that back a little bit, I think. Uh, so let's get that uh, sorted. And we'll cut out our most expensive factories or our smallest factories. Your building upgrade has completed. There we go. Let's take those down. And we're down to pretty much what the demand is. And we're making money again. A tr it's only half a million a day now. But look at that. We're 67% of uh, of the global computer market that is incredible that is awesome oh and those other guys brutal and massive have disappeared again that's what they do oh we're in 1984 right which is probably as reasonable a time as any to to finish this episode off uh, the next one could be interesting I have a suspicion I might be wrong because I haven't done a detailed and thorough look at the research tree, but I think we might be able to go into PCs in the next episode when we get the XT power standard. But what we'll do is we'll finish off this episode with a quick wander through our stats. So in 1983, we merely, a mere, actually that's interesting, pretty much the same profit last year as we did in the year before, 397 million. Interesting. Sales, they keep on going up, which is good. And we can see here that nobody has got PCs yet. So everyone is still selling home computers. My share of the market is, <laughs> that's, that's, that's an impressive curve. Not so much a curve as just a vertical, but, Okay, I know it's not vertical, but it's nearer vertical than some of these others. <laughs> yeah, Cheap and Great have obviously made a great recovery, but everyone else is just, uh, yeah, falling apart. Dator, interestingly, have made a slight recovery last year. Um, I've got a fairly even mix. I think it doesn't quite match the global preferences, but we're, we're doing okay. And China, India and the US fairly logically are my biggest markets as they are indeed for the whole of the world. They are the biggest population centers. And there, yeah, that's where we'll finish off, I think. We have done an astonishingly good job again in, uh, in Computer Tycoon. So that's it, another very successful year for Computers by Ajax here in Computer Tycoon. I've been Ajax Post, hang on, I've just noticed. Bigs have got some more countries. Oh, they're, they're a slight comeback. They've got Iceland, they've always had Iceland. <laughs> they've always had Iceland. Syria, they've got a few odd countries. Interesting, and uh, yeah. Could be just where the other companies aren't quite making it in those markets. Anyway, as I was about to say, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, though, would be to hear from you. If you've got any anything to say, any hints or tips, recommendations, criticisms, brutal have come back. Goodness. 
Um, anything to say about the game would be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.